is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE Elite Figure Customs as well as my Secret Santa Custom came in yesterday, and my God, it blew my damn mind out of my asshole. That was a bit much. I apologize. But here today, guys, we got some brand new customs. I worked on some customs yesterday, still finishing up some other stuff. I don't know. It's like near the end of the year. I'm just trying to bang out these customs as much as I possibly can. Today, we do have two finished ones as well as one that I started, and then I'm also working on some other stuff behind the scenes. So a lot of custom work going on, man. Lots and lots of custom work that I have been attempting to do to finish off the year. Going into the new year strong here, Brad. Trying to make next year a lot better than this year as far as a quality of life standpoint or as far as a freaking non-pandemic standpoint. But nonetheless, guys, as you guys can see, we have a few customs shown here. This one, you know, it doesn't really count. This is the John Morrison Survivor Series. You guys know I'm trying to turn this into like a pewter and white color or a Texas A&M or a Aggie attire is what I'm going to call it if you guys follow college athletics or college sports. Texas A&M, they're the Aggies and this looks like their colors or at least this maroonish color and white is their colors. I'm going to add these to the bottom here and paint this gold white and y you get the idea. Also, I want to apologize for the stack of the top figures of the year in the background. I'm still mulling over my top 10 to get that prepared for you guys and we're also working on the worst figures of the year that will be going up very soon as well as well as a ton of other videos. Got a ton of video ideas for the month of December that I'm excited about but Let's dive in here, guys. Starting out first, we have this custom fantasy white attire for Dolph Ziggler. As you guys can see here, this is the Elite 39. And what I did was I went in. You guys know this was silver. I think we actually did an appointment, or we featured this figure on appointment the other day where we switched out the boots. And I also had long knee, knee pads on here, like long, large knee pads. I didn't want those on there anymore, so I got rid of those, put on the smaller ones for better articulation. I'm also noticing his leg has, like, some stains right here that I'm not really agreeing with. We're not having a good discussion right here. Here, so I'm, I disagree with that. I disagree with you, Brad. But anyways, the other day on Action Figure Appointment, we did switch out the boots and I did put the Elite 70 Ziggler boots on there, but I also painted the outsoles black because they were completely white. I don't know why Mattel didn't include the black outsoles because that's one of the best parts of the boots is the, you know, the kind of contrast you get because the black down here ties into the black on the strap and they were just all white. So it looked a bit odd and I felt like, you know, for a true all white fantasy gear, usually I go ahead and switch out the knee pads with white knee pads, but I I felt like the black tied into the tights and it tied into the boots once I painted these outsoles. So I went ahead and put black knee pads and then on the trunks right here, you guys will notice on these trunks, the white used to be silver. The DZ right here was in like a, I don't know what you would call it, like a tealish light blue color. And then on the back on here, this over it was in white on this black box. And then this logo of the lady bending over was also white with black over that silver. So what I did was cover all the silver in white. You guys can kind of see uh, the, the, the top part of the trunk trunks is silver. It kind of blends in nice because white and silver aren't that too different. I mean, they're different, but you, you get what I'm saying. But anyways, I went over on the lady. I had to redo her a little bit. Some of her shadows weren't accurate. I like the way the pink and the over it looks over the white. I think the pink with the black outsides, you got these little zipper things over here on the sides in black, really tie into the boots, really tie into the outline of the pink logos. And then the, you guys know the outsoles and the knee pads and everything. So I'm really excited for the way this came out. The small basic Ziggler arms with the everything going on like that. Another thing is the head sculpt. You know, I thought about switching it out with the Elite 70. Let me grab one. So here is the Elite 70 Ziggler. I thought about putting my extra Elite 70 Ziggler head sculpt over on the fantasy gear, but I don't know. We, we can just see about that. I also need to repaint these boots. I don't know what's going on there, but Kent State hoodie on the Elite 70. That is the other custom. We also have the Great American Bash Batista. We saw this on Action Figure Surgery Episode 50, but we did not complete it. I'm still waiting on a decal right here. I gotta put the B decal from around that time. The 05 era, 0506 Batista, but we did finally complete the boots. Took me an ass of a long time to get these boots done, man. The, the red just did not want to cover that black, and the white took forever as well. Multiple layers. You guys know that I use the Citadel White Air. This is the best paint you can use, the Citadel Air. Layers and layers is the best way to do customs because you do little mini layers over and over again. They, fit, they, they add up to a really good thick layer that's not too thick, and it still looks really, really clean. You don't get a lot of splotchiness and stuff. It goes on really clean, so these boots look good finally, but Jesus, man, it took me forever. I can't even count. It, it took me a lot of hours to put in on this Batista and it's still not completed, but that is why we didn't complete it on the episode itself. It's because of how many damn layers it took, but this is one of my favorite Batista attires. I'm happy to finally finish it besides the decals. It'll actually look somewhat decent on the shelf now, and it won't live rent-free in my gosh darn head. So for our next thing, guys, we are going to finally reveal our Secret Santa Custom. So I got a Secret Santa Custom. If you guys didn't know what the Secret Santa Custom little thing is, it's basically 
basically this IG page where they take a bunch of customizers, put them into a hat, randomize them, and then pull out the thing, and they give each customizer a person in the hat. And so what you would do is they have a list. Every person has a list of customs they would like, and their list is sent to that person that they draw out of the hat. And they're supposed to make that custom for them for Christmas as like a Secret Santa. You guys know Secret Santa is where you draw. You draw the names out of the hat, and you have like a $20 spending limit, and then each person buys somebody from the list a gift. Well, here today, I finally got my custom in. I sent out my custom, uh, I think a week ago or something like that. Hopefully, the person I sent it out to gets it very soon, but let's reveal the custom in three, two, one. Holy damn solid tech, Brad. Look at that right there. This is a custom SummerSlam 2017 Finn Balor Demon, and if you guys were wondering what my list consisted of, every single year, I always do a, uh, I always do Demon Finn Balor's. I just fill up my list with Demon Finn Balor's because I'm trying to get them all completed, so NXT, main roster, doesn't matter. I send them a list of guys that I already have, you know, custom demons that I already have, and ones that we got from Mattel, and things of that nature. So, the challenge was to make me any demon attire that I didn't already have with the ripped up torso, or one that we haven't already gotten from Mattel. And, this person decided to go with the SummerSlam 2017 Finn Balor, and just look at this paint detail, dude. I didn't even know who this customizer was until I looked them up on Instagram, so I will plug in their Instagram, but dude, they absolutely knocked this thing out of the park. It's kind of ridiculous how clean this looks. It looks really, really good. The paint skill is definitely on point. He's got the sleeves on there. He's got the stripes, the red and black knee pad. Kick pads look really good. I mean, this thing is phenomenal, and I, I don't know even know how to describe it. And you know what actually makes this even more special is this is the match where Finn Balor took on Trash Corbin at SummerSlam, and he absolutely embarrassed him. I'm pretty sure this was, what was it, the start? He, like, beat him very, he squashed Trash Corbin in, like, 60 seconds or something like that. But this custom comes to me from unstable underscore retired underscore customs. He says, hope you enjoy the custom and happy holidays. Kayfabe Secret Santa. Huge shout out to you, bro. Guys, please go give this man a follow. This dude did an outstanding job on this custom. I can't be any more happy about it, any more proud of it. It looks insane. I think all of the details that he got looks great. And it doesn't look like layered and stuff, man. It looks like it just got photocopied onto the damn thing. And I don't know if you guys remember my Secret Santa custom from last year. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. I forgot to grab it. So here is my Balor custom from last year. Again, I always put it, I just put Demon Finn Balor's on there now. So if you guys get my list, if you guys enter the, you know, the, the Kayfabe Secret Santa competition, or it's not even a competition, it's just sort of a, a fun thing we do every year. If you enter that, just know if you get my name, I'm just gonna fill that hoe up with Demon Finn Balor. So here is my NXT Finn Balor from last year compared to the main roster Demon, and they both just nailed it. Both guys did an outstanding job on these, and I'm so happy to have both of them. Down here, he did have red, black, and white kick pads. The attires are very similar, but they're also very different. I mean, Demon Finn Balor's, you guys know Finn Balor goes all over the place with his demon uh, paint jobs and his body paints and stuff, but I'm so happy to add another one to the collection. This one's gonna go just perfectly right in on the Finn Balor shelf with all the non-demons, all of our, you know, our NXT Balors, and then we have all of our demons there. I did get rid of my uh, my fantasy attire demon Finn Balors, but all of my official ones and all of my Prince Devitt paints and all of that stuff fits perfectly in. I don't think we're gonna have any troubles with that, but I think that Unstable Retired Customs doesn't look too retired to me, Brad. It looks like he came back to work and he flibbled a dabbled on this thing and killed it. So I'm super excited for this. I think he absolutely nailed it. And also a huge shout out to Padge or Paj or P-A-J underscore customs for this battler because I, I love this one to death as well. But both of them are going to go perfectly in the collection and I am super excited for both of them. Huge shout out to both of them for that, guys. Definitely go check out their stuff. But I think that about does it for today's video, guys. We had the secret custom. We had the other customs that I worked on. And please let me know if I should switch out this head sculpt with the Elite 70. What do you think it would look like? Also, what do you think of the Aggie Morrison and, uh, you know, the, the Batista that we got there. But huge shout out to everybody, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Before we get out of here, though, before we get the hell out of here, we got to get into our random shout out. So this shout out is going to go to Dominic Does Everything, DDE. He says that top 10 ranking is going to be lit. Huge shout out to Dominic for that comment because our top 10 figures of the year is coming up. You're not going to want to miss that video. Going to be an epic video where we go over my personal top 10 WWE action figures of the year and you're not going to want to miss that guys so definitely stay tuned for that we're going to break down customs and fix-ups of the year as well and uh, also talk about the shitty parts of the year as far as figures are concerned so stay tuned for that thank you so much to dominic for that comment but i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video wait 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 don't step over that line you crossed the line